Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton and I'm here in Las Vegas at CES 2015. I'm on the booth of Cambridge Consultants and I'm joined by Ruth. Ruth, thanks for talking to me. Um, my issue with wearables here is there's a lot of stuff that isn't really a wearable. It's just a piece of electronics technology with a strap or hung around your neck. This is a real wearable. Tell me about the technology and tell me about the challenges it overcomes. So we were facing this, that similar challenge. I mean, we do a huge amount of connected system development for our clients. A lot um, for performance monitoring or technique training, um, and a lot of that is MEMS-based technologies. But that that's great up to a certain point, and it's good for certain applications. But it is just electronics on uh, different parts of your body, you know, kind of electronics bolted on. We're really trying to think about how can you make a wearable that is truly wearable and actually make the garment itself inherently smart. So this is look. This is using a fiber optic based technologies. This is not using um, MEMS based sensors at all. So what we've got is got a single optical fiber okay. and how it, how it works is it's looking at the, it can detect the bend. So we can see this on the screen yeah. here. It's picking up the movement of, the, of, of my wrist and also it can pick up, can pick up my elbow okay. as well. So it's working on a, um, a backscattering um, technique. So the, the electronics at the moment is below here um, and it's sending a pulse of light up the fiber and on the fiber and then it can pick up the, so obviously when I when I bend the yeah. the light is being reflected yeah. and scattered in a different way and it can um, pick up pick up that change okay. so we're just showing a simple um, concept here using two sensors yeah. but we can imagine scaling it we think we can get up to 10 sensors along a single optical fiber right. with a single pod of uh, uh, electronics Okay. So imagine if it could go all over the body. Yeah, yeah. And what kind of applications are you looking at for this? Are you developing the applications internally within Cambridge Consultants or will you be partnering with other companies? So we've got it to the stage where we started thinking about the types of things it could be used for. I think it'd be really interesting for um, technique training in sport. Right. So it's basically for anything where you're interested in the posture and, and changes in the angles of joints. So imagine picking up a, a tennis serve or um, you know golf swing yeah. or um, or skiing if you're looking at maybe your hip the changes yeah. in your hips. Also think about you know wellness applications like yoga maybe yeah. position um, uh, rehabilitation or in the medical area. Think like gaming yeah. you know maybe interaction with that or maybe a, a low cost motion capture system for the movie industry. But how we've developed it as a platform and we're we're look, talking to lots of different people at the show and we've had a lot of interest over yeah, the last few really. days. Um, uh, and talking to them about how we can develop it further with them for their application. So we won't take it further ourselves. We're looking for people who want to work with us to develop it for their application. Okay. And for people who don't know Cambridge Consultants, just tell me a bit about the company and how that operates. So we're an engineering company that does product development and technology creation for our clients on a fee-for-service basis. So it's about 450 of us, um, engineers, designers, scientists, across a whole range of different technical disciplines. So people who've worked on this would be optical physicists as well as the algorithm experts who are interpreting the signal. Okay. And was this done for a client or this was done as a kind of a blue sky project? This was done as a blue sky project. Yeah, we, we, similar to you, we yeah. got frustrated on the fact that wearables weren't truly yeah. wearable. And we were trying to look at what we could do. Actually, this was a technology transfer from the oil and gas sector, right. so we developed this in a um, system for monitoring the change in dimensions of a, of a pipe by looking at the, um, the light scattering in the, pipe, in the fiber around a pipe, and that obviously was a very high-spec instrument that was you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars. We thought, well, how can you actually take that principle and transfer it into a consumer product that is really low cost? Okay, so you make it into a consumer product and then you've got two different consumer supply chains that are emerging. You've got the apparel supply chain, which is very different to the electronic supply chain, the kind of people that would be involved in fiber optics. Do you look at those challenges or are you very much, this is the technology and you hand it off? Well, the types of people we're really interested in working for this, um, I think uh, people who uh, are sporting goods brands, for example, who might have, they would have the apparel knowledge in-house. And I think that's what we haven't got at CC, is understanding of the, of the textiles and how to integrate it. So we're really interested in working with sporting goods brands who would be able to do that. And so many of them now have got digital sports divisions yeah. um, within their company. So they're, they're, I, think, I think we could find a partnership that would be really beneficial on both sides. Yeah, and that challenge is certainly one that's being felt elsewhere just in this hall. So yep. lots of challenges being met there. Ruth, thanks for your time. Thanks for talking to me. A really interesting product. Thank you. Thank you.